What do you say? Which? If anyone else is interested in sharing why they make art, I'm very interested in hearing. It's like the balance between trusting the flow and the fluidity of instinct, but also the structure and action and the like square lines. And I know I talked about this a couple weeks ago, but it's that sacred geometry, it's that Fibonacci spiral with the structure along with it. Um, It's the duality of the fluidity, but also like the creation of something material. So it's like a, a, a living embodiment of that for me. Okay, I have a few questions. Yes, uh, please. Give me one second. Um, that was loaded. Um, I'm going to take it back just a minute. Also, uh, may I say you are a great interviewer? Me? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, radio show. <laughs> whoa. It's, it, thank you. Um, you spoke about art builds trust in yourself, you know, like your process of making art builds trust in yourself. And I recognize like that that is a positive thing, but why? Like, why do you see it as important or why, yeah, why is it important to have trust in yourself? Because life is risk and as we've talked about when you're starting something when you're choosing to embody a practice a consistent practicing of something in your life be that a career or an idea or a concept you need to take that leap and like you said we can do anything if you want to have a um I forget what the terminology was, but like a gallery, like showing an art show, I think is what you said. Um, You just do it. You reach out, you create the connections you need, you hire people and you just make it happen. And doing that takes so much trust in the self that you are capable of creation and of doing anything and it's taking that initial leap and putting the concept into action that is that can be really scary it's the fear of change um you need to trust to embrace change like i feel like when i'm playing guitar mostly i'm able to kind of just like forget that i'm it's kind of corny, but it's true. That I'm, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind. Of, I kind of forget that I exist sometimes. Like when I'm so focused on it. Um, that whole section of what you're talking about, until you talked about, you know, the creation of something material, and I understand. Like, I think a lot of us view the creation of something material like the translation of just something that has never existed in the way that we can physically interact with to make something that we can interact with is a superpower it is so it is one of the most miraculous things that any of us could witness you know something comes from nothing just like a form of like therapy in a way or something just to like let go into something that's like physical and just let it rest there or something you know like it can still be in me but like you know it's gonna be there for now and it can chill there, do whatever it can do its thing. It's just more like, definitely more of a release. And like, sometimes I like it and then I want to share it. And then that's what that is. I don't know if we have the words. I feel so thankful right now. This is really beautiful. This is really cool. These are, there's like, this feeling is here. 
consistently and we all know where to go to access it. And this amorphous feeling has that much more form now. And that is, that is personally valuable to us. <laughs> we're very thankful. I don't really have an elaboration on this, but I'm just feeling that we are all reflections of each other so deeply. Jonah, you really uh, put something in perspective for me about this group. We come here and share the best parts of our lives and the worst part of our lives as we're growing through them each week. And that's something that's so powerful to me. It's like we're, we're all growing together and feeding off of each other, like one complete unit. And I guess that's what all of us really means, you know? It's like... It's crazy. Like, the more that I got further into music, when I first started, I was just super satisfied with just, like, recording on my iPhone. I was super satisfied with that. Like, it gave me happiness. And, like, everyone would make fun of me. Like, dude, you suck. I was like, well, I don't care. But as I got, like, I got stronger, like... The instruments that I used to express myself didn't satisfy me anymore. Like, I wanted a guitar. Then I had the guitar, I was like, it's a guitar, I want an electric guitar. All right, I got an electric guitar, it feels good. Then you realize, like, when you get used to that, you're like, oh, there's a different levels of electric guitar. Oh, my Squire isn't gonna sound as good as a Stratocaster. All right, now I got a Stratocaster. I'm going off on the Stratocaster. Then you're like, wait. I want a P, I want a bass now. And then you get the P bass. You're like, oh, this bass is fire. You're like, wait, this doesn't hit. I gotta get another amp. It like, that kind of goes up, and the purity of it, like, I can't. I'm still struggling, but I kind of think about when London wrote in his in your diary that like, how when you got to a certain point, you're like, I want the same piano that Queen played on. I want the same microphone the same that Beatles used. Right, like, and I really related with that. Like, like I want to express myself in these instruments and I don't want to use uh, Spectra Sonics no more. I don't want to use Keyscape. I don't want to use unpirated synth software no more. Like I want a real synth and those things cost so much money and I'm like, ah, right? And I just wish sometimes I could go back to like that feeling when I first started where I, all I needed was just my voice, my room, Wait. and a beat, you know? No, don't go back. Don't go back. <laughs> like. We need you, Dom. Like, okay, okay. It's so beautiful that you, like, you are life, right? Like, you're, you're a life form, and you can do fucking anything with your time, any day, right? Like, you take in this like memory of life, like in the form of like food, like some other life form. You reorganize it into you. You have some calories. You have the ability to keep doing whatever you're gonna do for like however many hours, right? And you focused on sound. You focused on sound at whatever threshold you could. You're like, you know what? We can get this access to the experience of sound for like a value of like no dollars if we pirate this plugin. <laughs> got it i have no dollars but i have all the attention in the world and i'm willing to pay as much attention as needed to get this experience and then you're focusing on sound you're like you know what this is the sound of like this synth this is the sound of this guitar and then your body literally takes that experience you just had focusing on sound and it rebuilds itself as a physical memory of that experience. And so life can experience sound on a deeper level through you. And eventually over time, you can be like, you know what? If you're listening through these ears, through your ears, we can tell you the difference between a Squire and a Stratocaster and a Telecaster. <laughs> like, we can tell you the difference between a P-Bass and a Hopper. Like, we are, we are like the experience of sound concentrate like it's in our ears it's in the way our mind is reorganized the way our bodies are organized like if you want to craft a truly deep experience of sound if you value that then our 
body is an access point to that experience. Like, our body will make the music, you value the music, and now you have music that's like crafted well, instead of crafted with like the most generic of sounds. Like, like you don't want to go back to where you didn't know the difference. We don't want you to go back. We want you to go forward. Like, we want you to be all of that and then be like, you know what? This has this value. And then do things in the world where as as life values experience of a richer sound, of a deeper sound, as life values the experience of its own cultural memory, its own narrative and journey through overcoming marginalization, you know, in a nation where like demographics underrepresented, like as life values those stories being told with sonic beauty and clarity and harmonic depth and great sound design and like cinematic level sound, you're here declaring that has this value. Life values that through you, through valuing the albums you make, valuing the works that you make, the shows that you put on. And then all that value goes into you and you decide what's valuable to you as life. And you might then purchase that piano for real instead of the plug-in emulation of that piano, which means that the human that spent their 10 years being like, okay, but the tension in the strings, if we choose these strings over these strings, it's a better piano. And the wood has to be this wood. I know what fucking wood it needs to be. That musician may not know, but I spent 10 years of my life being the fucking focus on that wood. So like, they gonna value me to make that piano. And it's like, that's how economies form. Like that's literally like, we build up these large cultural memories of what we really value as humans. As long as like when we wake up, we're honest about what we really value. Like for every day that you woke up and focused on sound instead of what someone else thought of you or like some bullshit emergency that popped up that was like, oh, you need to focus on this right now. But like if you didn't, it'd be over in a day. Like, you know, you're here as you now to participate in that ecosystem. You know, like it's really important that when we're here, we do what we love because we become what we do and then we become what we love. And then society forms around that. Everything around us is just memory. That building's memory. The fucking cookie cutter ass suburban house is just memory. It's just a memory of shelter, which is good, but like shelter over creativity, right? Like, if we start valuing shelter and creativity, the house is our memory of our valuing shelter and creativity. Like everything here is malleable. It's just the calcified memory of those moments of inspiration where we just did something, you know, we just left and did something. And like Danny's right. Like when something hits you, like Danny wants to make a radio show, he's going to fucking make a radio show. Cause that energy is in Danny. He's going to be like, I can do it. He's going to do it. And that thing is going to exist as another cultural memory that makes access to some experience related to that that much easier. You know, like keep being you keep going forward. Like let's keep growing this world into the world that's fulfilling to be in, you know, damn, damn. How many people are there right now that can make Danny's radio show happen in this room? Like how, if, if all of us like came together, I guarantee you, we would be able to make that happen tonight. Just I guarantee it. Just. Damn. Yeah, he already did it. I already had did it. Daddy told he's stepping ahead of us. I definitely, this is far-fetched. But like, I'm feeling a lot of what I think all of us is Forming into <laughs> no 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 it, we can we, like, we all understand we're all in this, this like weird weird we're all these webs sticking together right now, and we can use those webs to form any shape we want. That's the best I can put it. Facts. I love it. Oh, <laughs> Honor, we love you. We love you. That's facts. Factoids. Fruit from the trip. <laughs>